Yeah, guys, this is a video about Neo. What's wrong with Neo? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with Neo. Right? It's the people, so-called investors. Well, they're not investors, they're traders. Right? It's these people that have got a few shares in Neo, and then the price falls against them. You know, they buy Neo stock, whatever price, I don't know. Let's say $5 you know 550 whatever the price falls against them and they panic and they say neo's no good what do they expect to buy neo stock and overnight for neo stock to go to the moon this is not 2021 guys this is not 2021 it's 2024 wake up to reality give yourself a slap yeah and if you're not happy with your neo stock then sell them because i'm buying them up yeah and just sell them and leave. Just go and, go and buy crypto or whatever. But don't plague, you know, plague all the chat rooms and, you know, the comment sections and all social media with your depression because you bought and maybe you're losing 10% or whatever. <laughs> all right? So sell up, pack up, sell up and go. Leave. Don't, don't plague us with your tales of, you know, you, you bought a <clears throat> Neo stock, thousands of dollars or thousands of pounds or whatever, and, and it's fallen, gone against you. You're not happy. Like, wake up to reality. We're talking about 2025, guys. We're moving into 2025. 24 is nearly done. Yeah, if you want some, like, you know, 10, 20% spike or whatever. Anyway, you've missed the boat. Jump on Tesla or whatever because the price is falling now, right? And Tesla, as I said, is setting itself up for a massive crash along with uh, all the other stocks. So it's a good thing in a way that Neo stock is taking it steady. And Neo stock has already been bashed several times since, you know, Basically, you know, it went 770, came down, was was 5 to 550, was going to, like, push up, make another, you know, another, like, a, another sort of a higher high, maybe $8, 850. And then what happened? You know what happened. You got this tax, you know, these uh, tariffs, talk of tariffs, because Trump, won the election you got money leaving to pump like shore up tesla which is as i said setting itself up for a crash anyway so it's a, it's a basically it's, it's it's not valued correctly it's not the right it's, it's a meme stock the tesla right and then you got you know well you you got like um impatient people you got people looking at insurance uh, registrations when they don't reflect the true sales, as I said in my previous video, because true sales, you know, if a lease company buys, I don't know, a thousand vehicles, let's say, they're not going to insure those vehicles <laughs> individually. They, 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 first of all, they, 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 they you know, insurance is going to occur later. It's the same with the rentals, right? If, if a rental company, let's say, buys 300 um, NEO vehicles, they've got a block, what they call it, a block policy, a block insurance policy, right? That, you know, when someone rents a NEO car from them, it's not that person insuring themselves on that particular neo car that that person's covered to insure that neo car so therefore those insurance registrations don't represent the true figures of sales the true true sales are actually rising right year on year the sales are rising and obviously you know the fly uh, firefly coming out is going to increase sales right it's going to explode the sales explode the sales guys for 2025 
the um, Firefly. In 2025, it's going to explode the sales, but you're not going to see the you're not going to see the results straight away. You're not going to see the results overnight. So I say let let them let them keep you know selling Neo stock so we can buy more cheaper, basically, because I don't know what they expected. You know, maybe they got excited when their Neo stock rose from 375 to 770. Maybe they thought this is it. It's going to the moon. Wake up, guys. Wake up. The timing. It's all about timing. And, um, yeah, you just go on these other channels <clears throat> and you read comments, you know, people not happy. Well, you know, they've got no experience. And they, 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 they're they going to sell up. And a Neo stock, I'll tell you what's going to happen. Not financial advice. Just my opinion. I've seen it before. We've seen it, right? And in a lot of stocks, you see it's suspended animation, right? So I gave stocks, stock tips, yeah. Um, grab, I gave you grab. Go and check my videos. Did anyone buy grab? No, didn't hear anything. Grab now is pushing, what is it, five, six, six dollars? When I gave it to you, it was like three dollars, guys. I gave you grab, I gave you Metro Bank. I gave you so many stocks, it's unbelievable, and my channel called it right. This is before Trump got in. This is, this is, this is long before. A lot of stocks have more than doubled before. Anyway, 2025, guys, Neo's going to explode, in my opinion, right? Not financial advice. But as I said, suspended animation. People sell. <clears throat> Who's buying? Someone's going to buy. People are buying. Neo investors long diamond hands right they're, they're they're loading up right and then some big players are going to come along deep pockets right the big boys they're going to scoop up a ton of shares in Neo and suddenly the price is going to explode totally explode right this could be pre this could be pre you know um, sales figures for the Firefly let alone with all their other um, you know, there are other models, etc. So, I'm just in uh, a drive through I'm just in a McDonald's drive through having a coffee, right? So, markets, pre-markets open. <clears throat> it's it's, it's pre-markets open, guys. But obviously, like, the market's not open. I see Neo dip, price dip to 450 before I left, price dip to 450 and then it shot up again i don't know what it is now but it's, it went up to like 460 back to that kind of range but as i said the 2025 it's all to play for that's when the, the neo in my opinion is going to explode that's that's the year guys 2025 and what you're going to see i'll tell you what you're going to see yeah because i called it right as you know i call it right go back on my videos and see other channels don't call it they, they, they try to interpret the price action, they call it technical analysis or whatever, and they talk about it. You've got one guy, I forget the name of his channel, he's called Summit Journey, load of BS. He's, he's basically, he's bashing Neo stock. It's about 20, 30, maybe 100 videos bashing Neo stock. And yet, <clears throat> when, Neo stick, when Neo stock rose, yeah, when Neo stock rose, to 770 when it was pushing up pushing up pushing up as you know every trading day there wasn't one video from him saying oh yeah neo stops doing well isn't it so you know they're disingenuous they're not genuine they're not genuine people guys they've got an agenda they've got look and he's selling some course some course who wants to buy a course for someone who don't know what he's talking about you're going to waste your money on a course paying him monthly for 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 like you know, for information, when he can't even call it right, he can't even, and he can't, he can't even be up front and say, "Look, Neo's going up." Oh, well, I was wrong about that, or just make a video about Neo stock price going up for the sake of it. You know, like he does when it's going down. So these people, you got to look at them on their channel, guys. Look at them. You, you, you're wasting your time with them. They don't know how to read the chart right 
some of them they've got the talk yeah they've got the gift of the gab etc but they what they're talking is absolute rubbish underpinning what they're saying is just smoke and mirrors and then you've got uh you know mr p yeah he's always always long isn't he it's long when it's falling from 66 dollars down to three dollars 75 he's still long and the guy's not showed any evidence that he's holding any neo guys he's in it for the views simple as that right he's in it for the views and and there's so many gullible people out there it's unbelievable <clears throat> there's so many gullible people subscribing to the, this freak like it's beggar's belief i mean you know so we're going to talk about 2025 guys if you're a genuine long-term holder of neo diamond hands and loading up more and listen on yeah like the video share the video and you know follow the channel guys right but if you like if you think you're a diamond hands but then you're going to listen to them other people that just keep bashing neo and there are loads of other channels talking about neo all they're doing is bashing neo and all that's going to happen you're going to get worried about your holdings because you're losing a bit you're down right you're just down you're not losing per se it's just your stocks are down at the time wake up smell the coffee right that's what trading's about that's what in investing's about all right it's a speculation stock right speculative stock but it is what it is guys if you're not happy as i say sell and go but don't keep crying and moaning on the comments yeah i'm not even i'm not even by the way i'm not even when i receive comments people crying and moaning and dissing and and um you know dissing um neo stock and, and telling me how bad it is etc i don't even publish those comments because it's, it's pointless right they let them go on the other channels i don't i don't publish them because it's um it's not fair on neo stock it's not fair guys neo stock's been bashed down of you know no doing of its own right just over the last several trading days they got bashed down and these people they just make it worse right so as i say it's coming up to the end of 2024 um people obviously their tensions on crypto going up a bit and some general stocks you know because of uh, because of trump etc but they get that what's going, what's happening guys is this is all gearing up for a huge stock market crash i can see it coming and i've got a video on it i've actually predicted the stock market crash for 2025 go and check out that video right because it's not got enough views and i'll show you my um superhuman powers yeah because you know already i predicted the mini you know stock market crash in 2024 that occurred i predicted it one week before go and check the videos guys so you're listening to someone who knows what they're talking about you go and listen to mr prickly pear and their mother people they are absolutely clueless if you used to put them in a room you know uh with the same amount of money on an account on a platform a trading platform they'd come out skin guys they'd come out skin right because they've got no clue they've got they've got absolutely no clue that's why it's all secret by the way that's why you've got to subscribe to you know a lot of them they say subscribe to their you know their website or some like you know some messaging service so they can tell you all this rubbish in secret all right well you don't need to do that because if you if you if you're clever enough right you can work out the stuff they tell you for free right on their channel even though they're earning ad, ad revenue from it but you can work out that they're t talking rubbish so why would you want to subscribe and pay them more money to for them to tell you more rubbish so um this is it guys like 2025 in my opinion not financial advice neo stocks going to explode 
but obviously it's all in the pipeline right it's all going to you know emerge yeah all the news the good news is going to break i think it's gonna it's gonna explode around about mid you know mid um around about june mid 2025 but for sure by the end of 2025 you're going to see, in my opinion, you're going to see a huge price spike for for, for Neo, Neo stock, guys. And that's what I think, right? That's what I um. That's what I think's going to happen. So don't get sidetracked, guys. Don't get sidetracked. Just look at it this way, right? Let's suppose in that spike didn't happen, that $7.70 thereabouts. Let's let's suppose that didn't happen and Neo stock was still at $4. Well then, isn't Neo stock doing well, guys? $4.50. You know what I mean? It's pushing up a bit, isn't it? That's the way you've got to look at it, right? Because you've got to look at it like uh, your mind has got to think like in a quantum physics type you know in a type way you've got to like be double minded in the sense of your pro you know your pro your long on neo and you can understand why it's been bashed down you look at the factors why it's been bashed down and you can kind of relate you, you can say yeah well i can see why that's happened it's all cause and effect and really the price doesn't deserve to be this low so but it is yeah um however you've got to think well what's going to happen moving into 2025 so that's how you got to think like you can't just introspect you know look at a stock oh it was 770 i actually bought at seven dollars oh and it's now 450 oh and then go crying oh mommy mommy i'm not happy the stock's gone down i'm losing money oh, what should i do and then go and tell go and tell everyone else on all the channels you know that you're not happy <laughs> so this is it guys like you you're either for neo or you're against neo guys if you're for neo then Fair enough. If you're against Neo, then what are you hanging around for? What? Why are you? You know, if you're not happy. Leave. Go. Right. So get a grip. Get a grip. Right. If you want to change your attitude and become, you know, become long, long-minded on on Neo, then do that. Yeah. Otherwise, we don't want you. We don't want you in the stock right because you you don't understand how it's going to explode it's going to go to the moon in my opinion yeah 2025 and if you can't wait well then go and put it on tesla and then see tesla crash down to 60 50 dollars or whatever and then you'd be crying when you see neo at you know 90 100 dollars and plus, and moving up, moving up, moving up, moving up, guys. Because that's where all the money's going to go. That's what you don't realise, in my opinion again, right? You don't realise that all the money is going to go on the, in, in the Chinese stocks. Right? Because the other stocks are done. They've done. They, they, they've, they've had the money out of it. They've had the retail investors' money. And that's where they're going to crash the whole market right and then pump the chinese stocks right they're going to crash the market to, to take all the all the you know basically take all the money hoover up all the money from the, from the stock market not just tesla stock all those stocks and that's how they make their money guys at the end of the day and then they pump the you know chinese companies and if you think for one moment that tesla tesla cars can supply and meet the demand you're absolutely wrong they're all that's why they're in china guys because they're getting the deals they're getting the battery deals they're getting the battery deals and 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 this is what it's all about so 
you're going to see money being pumped into Neo, in my opinion. Like, possibly even before the end of 2024. Because I'm telling you now, that massive crash, it is going to be the tipping point, guys. The peak. Have you seen some of the price action? Have you seen some of the charts? The, 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 the patterns, you know. They're so super high, it's going to come crashing down like an avalanche. It's basically that half the mountain's going to fall. It's going to fall off. It's not. It's not even going to like slope down, as we as you know, like a crash. It literally, half the mountain's going to going to basically disappear, and and it's going to be catastrophic. Like the losses, it's going to wipe out probably 60%, 65% of all those Tesla type stocks that have been shored up, pumped up, right? They're just going to totally be obliterated. And all the money, all the clever money, people especially holding cash, because that's what they're doing, right? All the money is going to be pumped into still the emerging markets, right? The Neo stock types right because that is the new that's the reset guys that's the reset that's what they don't want to tell you that's what's going to happen right because population growth it's not happening in the west it's happening in the east right and western type companies that are obviously owned by the east and some of them on the stock market in the west they're the, they're the, they're the, they're the, basically, they're the stocks of the future. They're the stocks that are rising, guys. Right? So, you just have to work it all out. If you can't work it all out, it's because you're not, you haven't, you haven't got insight. I've got the insight, you see. I've got superhuman powers. That's why I was able to go back on my videos which I'm not going to do it anymore because I, di I didn't get appreciated. But I've got superhuman powers, guys. As you saw, I was able to predict NEO stock price. From 3.75, I predicted about seven, eight moves. Exactly right. I predicted it exactly right. Yeah? 100% correct. That's because I've got super, super, superhuman powers, guys. Right? Which you haven't got that. I know you haven't got that. Because you can't do it. And the other channels can't do it. Right? They can't do what I do. Because I've got the powers. So, I see the future, per se. I see what's coming. Can't be 100%. But all the signs are there. So anyway, guys. Don't forget to like. Share the video. And... Obviously, if you haven't already, subscribe and leave comments. Leave comments, guys. But as I say, if you're um, if you're a neo basher, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, guys. Like, you know, you, you, you just go and cry, go and cry and get some more milk. Yeah, just go and cry and get some more milk because I, I really don't want to hear it. 